Okay, so watching David Pakman, he's talking about the whistleblower and Donald Trump Jr. blurting out the name or alleged name, possible name. Not really sure. You know, I mean, it could be the person, could not be. Who's to say? Here's the thing, and this is important. Remember Pizzagate, guy wants to save the kids from Hillary Clinton's underground sex scandal thing under a pizza shop in a basement that they didn't have. He goes in, starts shooting up the place. Remember that? Remember Bill O'Reilly? You know, the baby killer, the baby killer. So the guy goes and kills the man. Okay? Remember that. Remember Heather Heyer, protester, nonviolent, some Nazi person on the right, because there are no Nazis on the left. I mean the left, not the center left, all right? The actual left, all right? That's what I'm talking about. Guy drives through, bowling people over, she dies, all right? Uh, the racist people that drove, and there were cops that drove their truck through black protests, you know, uh, protesters shouting racial slurs and holding their guns up high, you know, saying they'll kill them. The, the guy, I mean, this is since Trump's been in office, you know, and a little bit before. All this stuff stems from Republican rhetoric, propaganda, and paranoia allowing, bolstering, and emboldening their constituents, their supporters, their voters, their people, their ilk to do all the heinous stuff that they say only the bad people do, that they say only the left is doing. So this is consistent. All right. I don't think I need to give more evidence to prove that the right is the wrong. <laughs> I don't think I have to. Now, what I'm saying is, what I'm getting at, this is the point, I'm getting there. Donald Trump Jr., Donald Trump, and the other Republicans want this whistleblower's name out there. They want the actual name out there. And while this is one bad thing, I'm going to speak on two things. This is bad. And I'm going to tell you this. The quid pro quo, you try to protect the business. Hey, you kill him, can't prove anything because the whistleblower is dead, you know. You kill the witness, what case do you got? That's how they're used to this going. That's what mobsters are used to. They are trying to get this man killed. This, by law, by court, by intent is attempted murder. And let's say they just want the name out there because they want to know. Well, okay, they already know. They already know, so they're going to blurt it out. So if they are blurting it out, and it is the person's name, they already knew, and they know through evidence I have already given what's going to happen. They want this guy killed. They want him dead. You, I don't think you can prove me wrong on this. I don't think anyone could. They want this man dead. These people on the right, whether it is center or far, have proven to be murderous, whether it's through their political rhetoric galvanizing these hateful people or the rhetoric that they refuse to say, which would be honestly saying, hey, maybe we should invest some positive stuff. They won't say that. So they're only shooting for the negative. They're only shooting to fear monger. They are getting these people up and about and they will do so and they have with guns. When someone comes to your house after an accident, concuss, ask for help, when they turn around, they turn their back and you blast them in the back of the head with a shotgun, that tells you too much, okay? When you are the police and you break down someone's, break into someone's home, without a warrant, without probable cause or reason, and everything that you needed to protect was already outside, what you bring into the house, 
And so, and that at, mo, at, at that point is a home invasion. When they tell you to get out, you need to get out, but you don't. Not only are you white with power, now you with a badge and gun with power. These people are all vigilantes. They are. And they are looking for a murder scene waiting to happen. And Donald Trump knows this. He knows his crowd. He knows his people. He and his ilk calls out this whistleblower's name to make sure that this person gets found and killed. It's, he's going to get found and killed if he cannot hide. Hopefully he used a fictitious name anyway. This right here would be manslaughter if he did not know it would happen. He just wanted to say it out there just to make sure other whistleblowers don't speak up. It's still manslaughter. You still go to prison for manslaughter. It is killing somebody willfully or ignorantly you are taking somebody's life and all they did was tell the truth I'm not oversimplifying it that's what they did did you do something yes did they tell that thing you did yes if you do not like them telling these things that you do that can get you in trouble. Don't do the things that would get you in trouble so no one could say anything. That is called keeping yourself safe. Now, to go on to the part that's really scary. This whistleblower, his name could be a little common. This means anyone with that name might be targeted to get killed that is the scary part. That is the scary part. Have you seen Have you seen Terminator 1? Do you know how many Sarah Connors died before the real one was found? I mean, the, the actual target one, not the real quote-unquote fake one. No, I mean, like, okay, the actual target of John Connors, that is his mother, was found. Quite a few Sarah Connors bit the dust by the Terminator before the right Sarah Connor was found. And right now, everyone out there is a Sarah Connor that has this guy's name. And it's not just him. No, it's his family. So these people might roll up into someone's home or at a stop sign or at a gas station or a grocery store and kill them or call the cops on them or something. Donald Trump, Donald Trump Jr. and their ilk has put hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of people in plausible danger and since news among the he haw crowd spread slowly that means you can't contain the situation and say we got one so it's done no everyone will have gotten one and it is done and it'll all happen within the same week span that is the scary scenario that is what is wrong with this and that is why false propaganda, protectionism, and all of this illegal stuff that's happening that is now legal because we allow it. That's why we're all in danger. We have to look in the mirror and we also have to look at the law and we got to wonder what's more important, voting our tribe or voting for our life? And I'll be honest with you, I want to live you know where I'm voting. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.